It's the holiday season, my favorite time of year for food, and I've partnered up with Vasa to create a very special and very delicious holiday recipe. So Vasa is this company that makes amazing crisp breads and crackers. They're really good for dipping, for putting hummus on, for eating with sweet things, savory things, but I realized I could also probably use them in a different way, in a less Mm, obvious way. So I've decided to use my Vasa crackers to top a holiday casserole, sort of like breadcrumbs, but more flavorful and nicer crunch. So let's get started. We're going to be making a white bean butternut squash casserole with the Vasa rosemary thins all on top. It's going to be so delicious and fairly easy to make. Along with our Vasa rosemary thins, We'll be using butternut squash, white beans, mushrooms, garlic, rosemary, tomatoes, and kale. We'll start by prepping our squash. Peel it, then cut the squash into small cubes. Make sure you remove the seeds. We're going to roast it until it's soft and sweet. That should take about 35 minutes at 375 degrees. Next up, chop the mushrooms. Saute them with freshly minced garlic and chopped rosemary. When they've softened, add one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Continue to cook until they're tender and brown. Add the cannellini beans and diced tomatoes, followed by red chili flakes, fennel seeds, black pepper, and salt. Stir it well and set it aside. Now our squash is done roasting. Mash it using a potato masher or a fork. Top the squash layer with the mushroom bean mixture. Then top that with the raw kale. I massage the kale with a bit of oil to help break it down. Smash one package of the Vasa Rosemary Thins, then sprinkle them over the casserole. Bake at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes or until your Vasa crackers are slightly brown. Easy! delicious. I am so happy with how this casserole turned out. And I love those Vasa crackers on top. Actually, I love those crackers on their own as well. And when I was making this recipe, we pretty much ate a whole box of Vasa. I bought lots of extras just because I know I love snacking on them so much. So we ate a whole box pretty much and put them on top and I just can't get enough. So this recipe of course is great for the holidays but it's also gonna be a great recipe for any night of the week. You see, it wasn't too hard to make. You can make a big casserole like I just did, stick it in the fridge, eat it for leftovers throughout the week. It's perfect. The kale on top is delicious and crispy and the Vasa crackers too. It's just, I just love this one. So if you make this recipe, let me know. Leave a comment below. And of course, share it with your friends. And if you take it to a holiday celebration, please share the photos with me on Instagram. I want to see everything you're making. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.